Standing tall, the colorful, diverse, and extravagant neon mammoth that overlooks the Mojave wasteland, New Vegas is an iconic location, not just in the Fallout series itself, but across gaming in general. I'm about two weeks removed from my first ever visit to Las Vegas, Nevada, a city that does its best to imitate New Vegas but falls short of the precedent set back in 2010 by Obsidian Entertainment. Aside from not performing terribly at Blackjack and almost falling in love with an <clears throat> dancer, I was left confused at countless missing features like a holdout weapons vendor or automated security bots. They don't even have the Topps Casino, I mean, were they even trying? Regardless of my disappointment, I still managed to play roughly 10 hours of blackjack and break even, which believe me, is an incredible feat when you have a table of four idiots laughing hysterically while being handed alcohol the entire time. When I got home from my trip, I was yearning to play more blackjack, but I needed to kill two birds with one stone and turn it into a video for the channel, so I laid out whatever cards that I had on the table in an effort to answer the question. Can you get kicked out of every casino and fall on New Vegas in under one hour? There are five casinos in New Vegas that we need to max out our winnings at, the Vicky and Vance and Prim, the Atomic Wrangler and Freeside, and the three large casinos on the Strip. We're not doing the Sierra Madre Casino from Dead Money, just the standard ones. This equals out in total to about 41,500 caps and winnings across every casino. In order to do this, I had to learn some actual speedrunning techniques, something I'm a complete rookie at, but have always wanted to give a try at some point. There's a lot of various speedrunning techniques in New Vegas, but the main one I learned and the most important one by far for this challenge itself is load dashing. Yep. Wait, no, Easy Pete, you gotta let me load dash. I'm a speedrunner, dammit, you can't attack me this way. Essentially what you do is change ammo types in a revolver, forcing you to reload, and right after a new round is chambered, open your pit boy and unequip the revolver. This leads to a cabal of mysterious nerds out in the depths of space, sending signals into your game that launches you forward. Load? Inventory? Oh my god, it worked! My childish excitement aside, I was genuinely surprised at how easy it was to pull this off. I'll leave a tutorial linked below if you're interested, but I'll spare you the details on load dashing for now. So we have our main method of transportation lined up. Now all that we have to do is plan out our route of getting to New Vegas and think about a strategy during the actual run. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Move, 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 move. Oh, we dodged him! I can't believe this is working. Quick save, quick load, die for two and a half seconds. Revolver. <laughs> I'm speed running. Mom, I'm doing it. Mom, I'm speed running. This is fantastic. This is unbelievable. Don't talk to me. Hold, Hold up. up. This is going to be so stressful. This is going to be terrifying. <sighs> Am I even supposed to go past the death clause? Is that part of the speed run? Oh, Christ. Oh, 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 no, no. Don't punch. Don't punch. Pull it out. Pull it out. Reload. Go for Christ's sake. Go. No. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I forgot to save. Oh, go. Go. Ah! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, damn, oh, damn it, that didn't work. Come on, right behind me, launch forward, quick save, quick load. All right, so there's some growing pains to learning how to load dash properly, but eventually I got my sea legs under me and we started theorizing what the best way to get past the 2000 cap credit check to the strip would be. Now, normally for a New Vegas speed run, the fastest way into the strip is to take the monorail at Camp McCarran. I had mistakenly thought that an NCR uniform was required for this. That part's not really important until the final run, but we tried to take the monorail strategy anyway. Hey, can you guys cover me? Do your jobs. Get off your ass, do something. No, 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 no. Oh, they're behind cover. God, they're going to win this fight easily. I might just have to start punching. Oh, no. Oh, they turned on me. <laughs> they turned on me. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he's running. You coward. Come on. Respect the speed run, damn it. <laughs> I'm just bullying this guy. This is a disaster of a speed run. I have to just punch him in the back of his balls. We got him. We got him stuck. <laughs> Thank you. Magical rebar. Get away. Stop. Please stop shooting me, fiends. Shoot him. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, give me everything. Uh, NCR, bandolier armor. Okay, we're in disguise now. Come on! No, 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 I'm in disguise! I'm in disguise, I'm on your team. Again, this strategy and route was completely pointless, but I'll touch on it later. If you aren't familiar with the rules of blackjack, I'll keep it simple. You get two cards, dealer gets two cards. The target total value of each hand is 21. The dealer only shows one card, and that one card that they show, at least in real life, is incredibly important to what your next move is. You can either hit and add a card to your hand to try and get closer to 21. You can double down, which means you double your bet and take a card. You can even split your hand into two hands if your cards are matching. There's a basic strategy play book online if you're interested in learning more about basic blackjack play, but in Fall of New Vegas, with 10 luck, you throw basic strategy out the window. You know what your basic strategy is in New Vegas? Double down. 
every time double down. In real life, there's a 77% chance of losing a hand if you hit on 18. In New Vegas, that percent is roughly 3%. It's actually comical how well it plays out. I already checked this off the table once. 18, double down, give me three. It's always a three. When you double down on 18, always a three. We did check out the other table games, and while a single number bet on roulette pays out big time, oh my god, it hit. <laughs> it actually hit red one. Your luck attribute doesn't actually affect the outcome like it does playing blackjack. After some more practice with load dashing, I was confident and ready to attempt my first ever speedrun on the channel, but I wasn't ready for the adversity that would be thrown my way. Now I think as soon as I can move my camera, I can quick save quick load. Ah oh, crap, it already crashed. And I do. Okay, it did work. I got movement. I'm clicking. I'm clicking as fast as I can right now. Come on, Doc. <laughs> Hurry up. Treat my brain and let's get out of here. Okay, nice. All right, we made it out of Doc's house. Four minutes. I feel like that's a really, really poor time to get out of Doc's house. But we gotta get to Chet. We gotta get our revolver ammo. We gotta get our revolver. One magnum round, one hollow point round. And here we go. And we're already starting off by launching it in space. Now, we, what we want to do, we want to get to Camp McCarran. No, we don't. And I think we can find an NCR soldier at Black Mountain. Remember that stupid strategy I mentioned earlier? Yeah, I went with that at first. Uh, somebody mentioned before that there was an NCR soldier over here. Is that true? Or was I was I being duped? Oh no, I think I've been duped. This is a dangerous place. Get out of my way. I think I've been I think I've been bamboozled. I need NCR armor. Can I go up the mountain? Is that a risky path if I go this way? Screw it, we're trying it. For the Chancellor. Ah oh, crap. Now wait a minute, guys. Actually, we can go to Freeside. We'll hit the Atomic Wrangler first. We'll hit the Atomic Wrangler first. We'll get kicked out of there. Oh no, it's an invisible wall. F me. It's really an invisible wall. We hit an invisible wall. You gotta be kidding me. Don't do this. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm not gonna fail. I'm not gonna fail. Now it might not seem like a lot. I lost what, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes going there, but trust me, those are valuable minutes because I'm not a professional speedrunner. Oh, we got it. Go, 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 go. Yes. Run the clear. Ooh, that was big. That was a big win. Where's the gate? Where's the gate? Where's the gate? Why do I not remember where the gate is? Is that the gate? Oh, <laughs> the gate wasn't even loaded in yet. Look at that. Three jumps. Woo! All right, we're moving. I'm speed running. This feels so good. I'm so excited. You give me some chips now. Welcome to the atom. You don't give me chips. Never mind. I don't want to talk to you, square jaw. Table number one. Max bet. Deal. Ten king. I already lost. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We lost our first hand? All right, some bumps in the road, but 12 minutes in and we're finally seated at our first blackjack table. Now, the Atomic Wrangler only takes 5,000 caps to get kicked out of, which is made significantly easier by going on runs like this. 18, double down, 21. 18, double down again, 21. 11, double down, 21 yet again. And just to round things out, blackjack. It didn't take much longer to get run out of this place. 16 minutes in, one casino down, and cashing in our chips gets us through the main gate to the strip. First stop on the strip is Gamora, and no, we can't take any time to ogle the nice dancing ladies, we have to get right down to business. 9,000 caps is the goal here. Uh, I don't even know what I have, I can't do math that quickly, I'll stay. Damn it, I lost. This is honestly, this is actually mind numbing right now, having to just fly through them as quickly as possible, trying to recognize the winning hands. 21, God damn it, dealer. Help me out here. Be a team player. Be a team player for Christ's sake. One more hand, let's get this win. 11, double down, give me a 10. Still one. Should be it, right? Yep. All right, close to 25 minutes in, two casinos, 14,000 in total winnings, and 25,000 left to win between the Tops and the Ultralux. I could spend another five minutes showing some intense blackjack gameplay, but that's not what you're interested in, right? You want drama. The Tops we finished at around the 32 minute mark, but my chat decided to break my heart and inform me that in order to gamble at the casino in Prim, I need to complete the quest in town and install a new mayor. You can gamble at that casino without doing the quest, right? Wait, you have to do the quest in order to gamble? Okay, couple things went my way here. You can complete the quest in Prim by installing the robot as the mayor, which requires 30 science. Luckily, I had 22 science, so I only need one level up. How much XP do I need? 
I need six XP. I need six XP to level up. We can get 30. We're, all right, we're gonna go for it. So with 28 minutes to go, I'm now feeling the pressure really, really hard. That stupid strategy of trying to find an NCR uniform earlier that cost me two to three minutes, it's coming back to haunt me. 13 minutes later, and now I only have 5,000 left to go on the Ultralux. My audio cut out during this moment, which I also noticed the other day when testing this. This is a clear sign that my game's about to crash. Instead of fixing the issue, I decided to make my own sound effects. How'd I do? Okay, Ultra Lux down, 14 minutes to go, one quest to complete, and 2,500 in caps to win in Prim. This is a long loading screen, it's costing me a lot of time. And yeah, my game crashed here, and I lost all progress at the Ultra Lux. Now, you could say that the run at this point is essentially dead, but I disagree. My timer is still in the same spot, not much has changed in game, at least for my personal vindication. I'm committed to this, so with my current progress in hand and an admittance of defeat toward any sort of official speedrun time, I ventured to complete my goal of doing this in under an hour. Oh, calm down. There we go. And down. Later. Oh my gosh, I'm so powerful. Deputy Beagle, how are you? Good to see you, lot. Get up. Prim Slim. I got a job for you. Howdy, partner. Howdy, Prim Slim. So now what do I do? Do I just sit here and wait? You can't speed up the wait timer like you can in Skyrim. I'm just sitting here on pins and needles. Oh my god, I only have nine, I only have nine minutes left. I mean, surely that was long enough. Maybe it's open during the day. I don't know, it's a small town. Maybe they don't have enough staffing. Oh, this is bad. What are you doing here? If you're not sure what just happened, I basically was waiting around in town hoping that the casino would start running on its own again. I completely forgot that this encounter has to occur inside the casino, which requires you to leave town and come back in order to get this to happen. Also, I lucked out again and passed a speech check. Okay, maybe now I have to wait three days? Oh, this is coming down to the wire. Come on. Oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. I'm, I'm actually losing my mind. Where, where are they? Why? No, not now. We're not, we're really not doing this, are we? Same thing after this encounter. You gotta leave town and come back. So I wasted more time again. They're in, they're in. All right, four and a half minutes, let's go. That was the trick. I had to fast travel out of town. Give me my goddamn chips right now. 15, really? We're starting with a 15. Double down, that's a 21. Wow, this is our first hot streak. Uh, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, your first hot streak. I, I'm, you guys are going to kick me out. I'm also going to be your first ejection from the casino. Wow, we lost. Okay, we're losing hands now. Three and a half minutes left. I got kicked off the table after one hand. 21. <laughs> I've been in this casino for all of 10 minutes. In game time. 2,500. Sorry, you just win too much. We can't let you play here anymore. Time! Time! <laughs> yes! Yeah!